Howdy everyone, Kyler here. Welcome to Fishing After Five. So, I have something for you. If you've been a subscriber for a long enough time, you would know that one of my post, most, been a subscriber for a long enough time, you would know that one of my most popular videos, which for me it's popular, I think it's up to like 400 views. Oh, <laughs> small YouTuber problem. I did a video with the Fat Baba by E Minute. It's, a, it's the world's first motorized lure. It's, it's really nice. It's, uh, you cast it out and it swims on its own. Well, this happens. I feel a little shallow bumps and, oh no. Oh no, uh-oh. Do not tell me I'm caught on something. Okay. Let's do this. I, uh, doesn't look like I can find it. <laughs> As you can see, I lost it uh, pretty, pretty good. But have no fear. This is a video I've wanted to make for a long time. Because when I first got that fat bottle, I was so excited to take it out to the water and, you know. Uh, but today, today, I present to you another, <laughs> another fat bottle that I got. My mom got this for me for Christmas, so thanks mom. Shout outs to you, biggest supporter of the channel. That's my number one fan. So what we're gonna do with this, we're not gonna go fishing with it. We're gonna actually stay in the house because it's, uh, the weather sucks. I'm gonna take this to the tub and actually see how it works. Get some underwater footage with it. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go over to the tub. Let's fill it up with some, uh, some Wawa. Yeah, this thing works. I'll tell you a bit about the fat minnow as well. Because when I tried it, it was really cool. Okay, let's go. So, welcome to my bathroom. This is, <laughs> this is where all the magic happens. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> this is the boring part where I'm still filling up the tub, so uh, I'll be back with you in a second. There we go. I'm gonna use one of my new rods. I call it the Pro Fish and Carly. It's this pink one I used last video. On the e-metal website, they recommend a 10 to 12 pound test line going into a snap swivel, which then goes into a leader, which then goes it's into the, the fat bottle, not into the bathtub. Let's open it up. Oh God. Wow, and yeah, it's broken. <laughs> Here's the fat bottle, here it is. Uh, at the tail, they actually recommend that you could put some uh, bass attractive, which I have. Comes with size eight BMC hooks. I'm gonna tie it on. Okay, so here it is, tied on. There we go. So apparently, right as you set it in the water, that's when it's supposed to turn on. It's open. Hey, there we go. Wow, look at that. Looks like a little dying bait fish. <laughs> I got a cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> so this erratic little action that it's got going down is supposed to attract fish. When I used it, a lot of fish would swipe at it, and I can definitely see why. So when you're fishing this, you want to fish it kind of on the bottom a little bit. I hope I don't have it too close I was to the like camera. You can't even see it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's probably not even in focus. That's legit though. That's just fun. <laughs> so this was the stuff I was amazed at when I last used it because it, yeah, it definitely does swim on its own. Yeah, I can see why bass would hate this. Move very far. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll see. I'm on it sinks slowly. That's legit though. I should, I should do this more often with other things. <laughs> this is fun. So this is how the uh, Fat Baba by Yemeno works. I did not catch a fish with it, but I think had I not lost it within the uh, first 10 casts, I probably would have. There were like three or four swipes at this thing. I was legitimately surprised. So next time I go out, when it's a little bit warmer, we're going to, uh, we're gonna try this. The battery life on these things is about four hours in warm water and two hours in very cold water. 
Now, I don't know exactly what cold water means, but it's probably gotta be some pretty cold water. If I had recommendations for fishing this thing, I would recommend not fishing it in places where it could get snagged since it swims, swims on its own. Uh, that can be very problematic. There are also no bass in my bathtub at all. So that's both disappointing and, um, and good. That was, um, that was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> so as you can see, the Fat Baba by Emeno will swim on his own. It makes a little clicky noise and apparently it draws strikes. I've seen it. I haven't caught a fish on it yet, but I'm gonna take it out there pretty soon and, uh, and try it out. Admittedly though, that was a lot of fun to do. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, leave me a, a comment below and I'll, I'll definitely uh, make them. Just standing in my bathtub playing with lures is a lot of fun. But just a short, quick, fun video for you guys. I'll see you next week with some more content. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you wanna stick around. Stay weird, fellas, and I'll see you next time after five. Deuces!